Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you the Trucking Along Bundle. It's super cute. It's a two-step stamping with a punch. I love the punch because you can make it with the stamp set or you can use the punch by itself. So it's super versatile. So let me show you how they work. First, I'm gonna start with the actual truck as just with the designer series paper. I'm gonna go ahead and take the truck and the punch I put upside down so I can see what I'm punching. So I guess I can decide which way I wanna do it on this designer series paper. Now I'm only gonna go ahead and do the truck. This is a little wheel well right here. This is a tire and the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the truck. Those others will get there. So we've got a truck and you can make your truck go this way or that way with the punch. So I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna take some black cardstock and just do two wheels out of the punch. So I can get two little wheels out. And then I'm going to work with the little window. And the window's at the top of the punch right here, so I'm just gonna do one. All right, so I've got those all punched out. And then you just put them together where you glue this one right here and you glue the little wheels. And I went ahead and put a little rhinestone on one of mine. Let me show you this one. This one's just done, I put, use the designer series paper as a contrast and then put a little bling there. Let me show you the card that I did with the punch art. So this says special delivery and it's the note cards and envelope size, which I really like the five by three and a half. And I just trimmed it down so it would fit with the um, card stock behind it and just special delivery. So somebody's having a baby and it's just super simple with the punch art. Okay, so that's how you do that one. Now let me show you with the stamp set itself. I've got my note card and envelope already trimmed down. This is the five by three and a half, and this is just trimmed down a quarter of an inch on a, all around. So I'm gonna make a little scene here. For the scene that I'm gonna stamp, I'm gonna use the one horse open sleigh paper, and it's really, Cool. It's got all the scenery in it of different winter scenes, but it's the backing on the paper. It's got all these really cool designs from the browns and the blues and some of the greens and neutrals. So I love that. It goes really good. And you can even use the truck in this paper too. Just put it right on top. But I'm just going to show you from the back side. This is um, a pattern from one of the sides of that one horse open sleigh paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere this onto my card. So to kind of give it a base for what I'm gonna be stamping or putting together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that about a quarter of an inch up. Okay, so that's right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my truck or you could use the saying. And the saying, let me open this. We're gonna use sending you sunny thoughts. So the nice thing about the photopolymer stamp sets is they're already printed on your um, stamp set. So when you put them away, they're right there and it keeps you organized. Let me go ahead and move one of my stamps off and put that on. So. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this already in the basic black, the oh, Memento ink, because I want it to pop. And you'll see here in a minute why I'm using the black, because I'm gonna use the outline in the truck in the black too. So sending you thunny, sunny thoughts. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and do the truck itself, and just with the scratch piece of paper. All right, I like to use my black first to be the outline of the truck. 
so I know where to stamp things. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in the black. Then I know with this two-step stamping method, I can make that truck any color. And I love the details on this where it's outlined. I'm using Costa Cabana. And if I want it lighter, I can decide if I want it lighter or darker. And I think I want it dark. Let me move that underneath so it doesn't... Now I can see exactly where it needs to go um, with the black line where that blue needs to go. So I'm going to line that up and then stamp it. So I love how it gives the detail of the little white for the truck too. Now I'm going to go ahead and punch this out because I want it to pop up so it fits around it with like a little white edging on your truck. So if you want a bigger truck, you can use the punch art and get the bigger truck. Now I'm not going to use the wheel well or the window because it doesn't fit the stamp. That's only for your punch art. I know I was confused about that at first. So there's our little truck. Now I want to put something inside the truck. Now here I've got so many different choices but I'm going to go ahead and use the summer one and this one is like the palm tree and the coloring of the palm tree. So that's how you get your two step. So I'm going to put these stamps on their blocks just on separate ones and I'm going to start with the black again and just stamp that. Now you can go ahead and stamp this right on your paper and kind of figure out where you want that to be so it's the image is behind the truck if you want to but I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to use garden green for the two-step stamping part and it's only going to color the actual palm tree. So I'm just going to look down and the cool thing about doing the black first is you can really line it up pretty good with the black. So you just have to get the angle right and once you it matches just perfectly. So we've got our palm tree. Then I'm going to go ahead and just use my regular markers. I'm going to make the surfboard yellow. And because it's in the truck you can color it down further. And I'm going to use the beach ball as the pink marker or the melon mambo marker just to give the beach ball a fun color. And then the next color I'm going to use is copper clay for the actual stem of the palm tree. Okay, so we've got that. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim this around. And you don't have to cut the whole thing on the bottom because you're going to use that to glue onto your truck. So I'm just going to kind of cut around this. This will fit behind the actual truck part. So I'm just going to curve this because that's the actual, the backing of the truck where the window is. Okay, then I'm going to just come down here and go like this because this is going to hide in the truck anyway. So I'm going to put some adhesive right here to be able to stick that into the truck, into the bed of the truck. And you'll notice how the other part where the curve goes where the palm tree was. Let me move that back just a little bit. I like to have it as much of the image in there. Okay, now we're just going to put some dimensionals on that so we can pop that little truck up. Oh, guess what? We forgot the tires. Okay, with the basic gray, the tires, they're really cool because you're like, what is that stamp? Well, it's to actually stamp your tires. It goes right here in the circles and the little half moons here. And it colors the tires. So guess what? You don't have to color those in with markers. They have a stamp for you. Isn't that fun? So you can make your tires black or gray or whatever color you works for you with that. So I'm just gonna pop this up. Oh, one more for good measure. I like dimensionals, what can I say? Okay, 
I'm going to pop this up right here. But you know what? Actually, because I want to fill this in more, we have a stamp that's a cloud. And you can either use the clouds with the black on them or you can do with the same color. I'm going to go ahead and bring back my Coastal Cabana in. And I'm going to take this cloud stamp. There's two different clouds. There's one that outlines and one that just colors it in. So I'm going to use the one that colors it in just by itself without the outline. So um, let's see. Let's look at the different colors of that and stamping off. I kind of like it full strength. So I'm going to use it full strength. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp some of these off set from the actual thing. And right, like right where you're, you can do it right over the black. I think that's kind of cool. And off the page. I love stamping off the page so it gives it that look of it lasting forever. So look how cool that looks. So I'm going to go ahead. And, oh, that's already done. And then I'm just going to pop my little truck here down. And let's put it on the Coastal Cabana right here. I love how you can make so many scenes with this stamp set from summer to baby. And I'll show you some samples that I've got that I've done just that. So there's the Sending You Sunny Thoughts. And just with the two-step truck and with the summer scene of it goes back in it. Let me show you some other samples done with this same stamp set. Um, I went ahead and did a winter one for Christmas and put the Christmas tree in it. There's a stamp that kind of makes a road too. And this Christmas tree is actually slanted and I just stamped it right next to each other and made a forest. This one's really fun. Every day is a fresh start. They also have this great like little squiggly line for grass and these trees. They don't actually fit in the truck, but you probably could make it look like there's trees coming out of the truck too. So that's fun. And if you stamp off, I think it looks kind of fun because it gives that kind of molding look of like an old truck. There's the packages for birthdays. Special delivery. I always love that because I figure, you know, it would be fun to put a gift card in this card. So there's some more flowers. And if you notice, we have two sets of flowers. These are the ones that have little buckets with flowers in them. And just put the flowers back in the back of the truck. So there's so many different options with this Trucking Along Bundle. This is an online exclusive and it's a very popular set, so you want to get it right away. Click the links below to see if it's available. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.